Hello. We're doing this little video to give you some idea of how we think you should use our bore tips and gun tips to clean your firearm. It's a revolutionary new product. It's a foam swab over a plastic jag. Doesn't leave any lint behind. They're washable, reusable. No cotton, no patches, no jags. What I have here today is a 3378 rifle, which is 30 caliber. So we're going to clean it with some 30 caliber bore tips, which I have here. They come on a runner, they're marked what they are, and then each runner is color coded. 30 caliber is olive drab. They're on the sprue this way, you break them off, they're threaded, and they go into a standard 832 rod. Now I've taken the liberty of getting one ready to go on the 832 rod right here. So we're going to take and put some solvent on this. And the way I clean, and you have to watch what you're doing with these because they absorb a lot of water so you don't want to put too much solvent on the swab. I'm going to run this down there. The way I clean a rifle, or any gun, is put some solvent in. I picked up a little dirt there. And let it sit for a few minutes. Now, for the purpose of the video, we're not going to make you watch it sit for 10 minutes while it works. But most people use, go too fast with the solvent when they're cleaning the gun, trying to get done. They don't give it time to work. You read the manufacturer's instructions with most solvents, they'll tell you to let it wait sometimes as long as 30 minutes. Okay, we put our solvent in. Now I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to put my brush in the bore. Since it's a brass one-way brush, I'm going to unscrew it. I'm back through here. We're going to make another pass with the brush. It depends on how dirty the firearm is how many times you may need to wind up doing this. We try not to pull back with the brush particularly because we don't want to bring any of the dirt back into the action. I'm going to give it one more pass. And then we're going to Take a clean bore tip. And we're going to push it down through there. And see what we got. And this rifle is not particularly dirty, but we did pick up some fouling. Now the trick with the bore tip at this point is put just a little more solvent on it. And if I take it right now and squeeze it in my paper towel real good, you can see we remove, we pick up almost all the fouling. If I put just a little more solvent on it, I mean just a little. Let it sit a second. I've removed virtually all the fouling so I can use this swab again to push down through the bore to see if I've got any more filth that needs to be removed. Shouldn't be anything more in there, but the saw one has had a chance to wait a little more, and I don't know that I got it all. This saw it come out pretty clean. It does. As tight as the bore tips fit, generally speaking, if you'll break up, if you let the saw one work and break it up good with the brush, you won't have to go back a lot of times. That will vary depending on the weapon and how dirty it is and what you're trying to remove. 
copper fouling can be more difficult. Okay. So now I'm going to take another dry bore tip and run it through to dry the bore. And I'm going to pull that one back through because it's dry and I just want to make sure you can see there's not much of anything left in there. Now, depending on what theory of cleaning you use, you might or might not at this point take a bore tip and put a drop or two of oil on it to run down and seal the barrel. In the particular instance here, this is a stainless steel barrel, but I know it's going to be stored for quite a while, and even stainless can corrode. So I'm going to take some break free in this case. Oops. I don't want much in there so I'm just going to put a couple drops on there. And run that down and back. At that point as far as the bore of the rifle is concerned, I'm done. Now in this case, you can see, because we squeezed the one out, they're almost completely clean. But people do ask, what should I do to wash it or clean it? Well, the first trick is the one I showed you where you squeeze it out in the paper towel or the absorbent cloth rag to pull most of it out. Now I'm going to take those and put these in solution. This is some uh, laundry soap and the water that we put together. I'm going to let them sit in there for a few minutes. And then I'm going to squish them around and then I'm going to rinse them, we'll take them and rinse them and they'll be ready to use again. Now for the hard to get smaller areas in the firearm, we have a product called Gun Tips. Again, it's a foam swab, no lint. These are a uh, resealable bag. It's our nine piece assortment. Comes with a variety of different size swabs for different uses. I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to put a little volume bit of solvent on it. And I'm going to go right down in here in the action. And I'm going to put that down in where the lugs work on the bolt. Now this is a Weatherby, so it's a nine lug action, so the slots are smaller. But in a standard two lug, this swab or this swab will get down in there and clean that lug channel very nicely. Work that around in there. I'm going to work on the floor plate. Come on. Clean the floor plate with it. Nice flat surface. We get under here and clean the bottom. Pick up whatever filth may have blown back and dirt, dust, other problems. Come up through here and clean the sides of the action. Get the chamber mouth, throat. And come back in here. Rear the receiver. And as I said earlier, this farm was relatively clean, but we have picked up a certain amount of dirt. Same drill. We're going to take our paper towel. We're going to squeeze it out real good. 
it's nice and wet. And we're going to remove almost all the contaminants from the swab. And I'm going to take a second swab as a dry swab and I'm going to go back here and pick all this solvent up that I laid down. In a lot of cases, instead of doing this, if you've got a bench rag or a paper towel, you can use that. Especially for the parts that are easily accessible in the open. Okay. We picked up most of that. Again, we picked up a little more dirt. And again, we want to pull it out in the paper towel, and it removes almost all the contaminant. For smaller areas, like the bolt face here, we make these little guys. We go in there and clean underneath the extractor, around the ejector pin, clean off the bolt face, and get down in between the lugs. Just pick up whatever loose impediments there are. I want to dry that with my rag. That's pretty much how you use our product. Over here, leave them sitting a little while. Take them and just scrub them up in your fingers. And I'll rinse them off with rinse water. What I want you to see that's almost as clean as it was when we first pulled it out of the bag. Get it rinsed off to get the soap out of it. Let it dry. It's not a bad idea after you've rinsed them to take a paper towel and squeeze them out to get most of the water out of them because they do hold a lot and they take a long time to dry if you don't. Lay them out on a paper towel, let them dry, and use them again. We thank you very much, and we hope that you enjoy our product and the time it saves you when you're cleaning your firearm.